This is part of a video I made of a talk by Mary Queen of Floods, where she gives insight into the reality of being flooded. I, I'm going to talk really about what it's like to flood. Have any of you here been flooded? So I apologise to you uh, because it can bring back memories, but I want to share with you the experience of what it's like to flood, not just from my perspective, but uh, since I first flooded, it was in sort of the 1990s. I've talked to thousands of people. I've been in thousands of flooded homes. And so I know just how awful it is. And I want to share that with you. So if you're on the verge of thinking about, shall I prepare for being flooded? This just might make you do so. This is my house on a normal day. And this is it just after a, a few hours of rain. And then the next one, this was it. This was my street and we had swans swimming on the water for many weeks in the year 2000, the great floods of 2000. I, the, the floods came twice and so for uh, basically three weeks I looked after Seven Trent Water's sewage in my home. This is just a few photographs of the various floods I've had. Um, that's Eric from Seven Trent Water sweeping the, the poo up outside my home. When the flood water went I had the same in my home. And I also was told by the electrician that it's the first time he'd ever seen dried poo inside a plug socket. <laughs> so, uh, to you, we're just a newspaper column, just a television uh, a, a news <coughs> item. But to us, we've lost our lives as we knew them. This is the view of one small village in Gloucestershire in 2007. The whole village was flooded. The pub was flooded. The church was flooded. The shop was flooded, so the whole community really was taken by storm, they weren't prepared for it, they were annihilated, and it devastated them. And of course, these are the, the flood waters inside people's homes. The one with the, the fireplace at the bottom, they had been married for three weeks, so they only just got home from their honeymoon when this happened. And of course, the aftermath. It's not just the settees, the, the white goods, it's our stuff, our memories are washed away. I lost my children's playgroup pictures, I lost little handprints, I lost photographs, things that you can't put an insurance price tag on. My memories gone, so many people's memories gone. <coughs> and then other things actually that hits people far more is the, the loss of memories, that far more than, than having their settee washed away. And can you imagine what it's like to, to be forced out of your house like this with nothing but your, your baby's changing bag? And whenever I go onto the television and I talk to myself hoarse on the TV between and the 13, 14 floods, if a flood is imminent, I will say to people, please pack, where's your grab bag? Where's your medication? Where are you going to put your car? Where are you going to put Hammy the hamster and your mother who's on a Zimmer frame? All these things need to be planned in advance.